Dear Pastor Bob, what does the scripture that says, touch not God's anointed actually mean? I think there's a lot of times that leadership in churches use that as an excuse to never be held accountable. And I fully agree. You know, the scripture, well, it appears a few places in the Old Testament. Uh, Psalm 105, 15 is the main one. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Well, first of all, the scripture's talking about physical harm. It's not talking about challenging them or correcting them. You know, there are so many times that these very people that they were told not to harm, they also challenged because they needed it. And the Bible tells us to keep each other accountable. And when somebody says you're not supposed to touch the anointed ones, well, here's a New Testament scripture. It's from 1 John 2, 27. It says, as for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you, but at his anointing teaches you about all things. And as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as I have taught you, remain. You know, the entire body of Christ is anointed, <laughs> not just certain individuals in the body, because as Christians, we all have the same anointing. We all have the same Holy Spirit. And God's anointed is Jesus Christ. There you go. So these days, look around you. Every Christian that you meet is God's anointed. Don't touch them. Don't harm them. Correct them? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, we love to set ourselves up as some kind of a special person. That we're above reproach. That we're above correction that we're somehow more anointed than other people. And, you know, I, I personally have a little problem with people that use titles as part of their names. Evangelist so-and-so, prophet so-and-so. Really? You know, all of us are people. We are who we are. No one is more special than another in, in the eyes of God. And so when we put ourselves in that situation, well, we've got some problems. Why? Because God never, never, never told us that some people were more special than others and we shouldn't ever correct them. Not the case. And would you also remember that Jesus Christ is God's anointed? That's kind of important, isn't it? Because we've inherited his anointing and his anointing is his Holy Spirit. And when we receive Jesus and his Holy Spirit lives inside of us, his anointing resides within. We've talked about allowing the Holy Spirit to work from the inside out, and I won't repeat any of that, but that's what it's all about. So touch not God's anointed physically? Yeah. Touch not God's anointed in correction? No. No. Absolutely correct. Challenge, correct, encourage. That's part of what we need in the body of Christ, all of us. Nobody is above that. God bless you. Have a great day. Um, um.